Good day Grade 12, welcome to week 15. In this lesson we're going to be looking at functions, specifically polynomials. Now what we're going to be looking at specifically is a factor theorem. And the factor theorem is a method used to factorize polynomials. But what are polynomials? Polynomials are mathematical expressions that have three or more terms and usually have the power of three or more. So for example, your x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 is an example of a cubic polynomial. Now we are going to be using the factor theorem as a method to factorize our cubic polynomials. We know how to factorize trinomials. We can either use a normal factorization or we've got a formula. But now we need to learn to use the factor theorem to factorize our cubic polynomials. So, what does that mean? What we are saying is we need to find out for which values this of x, this equals 0. Okay, in other words, if I gave you a graph, if I said to you, let me just do this up here. If I say y equals x minus 3, x plus 2. That's already been factorized. It was a trinomial that's been factorized and we know from that that we have a graph, okay, when x equals 3 and y equals minus 2, it cuts, so it's actually a parabola where the x values, we are finding which x values, this is cutting the, the x-axis, we're finding out what values, and what is y then, y equals 0. So when we factorize this, what are we trying to do? We're trying to get the f of x, which stands for y, to equal 0. And the best way to do this, it's very sad, but it's true, is with trial and error. So what we're going to do is we're going to let, we're going to try something, we're going to let x equal 1. So then we're going to go, okay, fine, f of 1 is going to be 1 cubed plus 1 squared minus 9 times by 1 minus 9. And you can see that that becomes 2 minus 9 minus 18. That does not equal 0. Okay, so let's try x equals minus 1. And great tools, when you're doing this trial and error, we usually go 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2. We don't usually get numbers above that. So f of minus 1. That becomes minus 1 cubed plus 1 minus 1 squared minus 9 times by minus 1, minus 9, which becomes minus 1 plus, minus 1 squared is just 1, minus times the minus is a plus, so that becomes plus 9, minus 9, equals 0. Therefore, we can say that x equals minus 1 works, okay? That means, that means that x minus 1 is a factor. Just as much as x minus 3 and x minus 2 were factors of this trinomial I made up here, x minus 1 is a factor which makes f of x 0. So now we need to factorize the rest and we need to show you how to do that. So we can say, okay, fine. We've got x cubed plus x squared minus 9x minus 9 equals x minus 1. Now we need to get our next bracket. So what we do is we divide. So we divide the first into the first. First into first, so we get x cubed divided by x, which is x is squared. Then we do last into last, okay? So last into last is going to be minus 9 divided by minus 1, which is plus 9. Now, do you agree there should be some random middle term, kx? So that should give us kx, right? But now, if we look at this, if we multiply this out, this times this gives us minus x squared, and this times this gives us kx squared. But what is our x squared term here? Our x squared term here is 1. So these two have to add up to 1x squared. So therefore I can say that minus x squared plus kx squared has to equal 1x squared. So if I take it across, I get kx squared has
has to equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2x squared. Therefore, my k equals 2, right? So therefore, if we, factor, if we write that back in, we can say the factors of this thing can be written as x minus 1, x squared, plus 2x, plus 9. And that's it. That's as far as we can factorize this. Not too bad, hey? Let's look at another example. It says solve for x if x cubed plus 8x squared plus 17x plus 10 equals 0. So this is exactly the same as the previous example. We're trying to factorize this. So we can say, okay, let x equal 1. If x equals 1, we've got 1 cubed plus 8 times by 1 squared plus 17 times by 1 plus 10. And that does not equal 0. There's no ways in heck that that equals 0. But I could let x equal minus 1. So then we've got minus 1 cubed plus 8 times minus 1 squared plus 17 times minus 1 plus 10, and that is equal to minus 1 cubed is minus 1. Okay, that becomes plus 8, that's minus 17 plus 10. Minus 1 minus 17 is minus 18, and 8 and 10 is 18, so that equals 0. Therefore, we can say that x plus 1 is a factor. How am I getting this x plus 1? I'm saying x equals minus 1. So I just take it across. So therefore, x plus 1 has to equal 0. So that is a factor. Now, I'm going to divide this into this to find out the other factors. So I'm going to go, okay, we have got x cubed plus 8x squared plus 17x plus 10 is equal to x plus 1. Now, x goes into x cubed and leaves you with x squared times, remember, first into first. Then last into last is plus 10. And remember, you always have a middle term, some random plus kx. So this times this gives us 1x squared plus this times this gives you kx squared. And what do we need? We need 8. We need 8 x squared. So do you agree that kx squared is going to be 8x squared minus 1x squared, which therefore kx squared is equal to 7x squared, therefore k equals 7. So now I can substitute that into that. So my brackets are now x plus 1, x squared plus 7x plus 10. Now let's look if we can factorize that. We can because the factors of 10 are 5 and 2 and they will add up to 7. So this becomes x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 5. So now we can substitute that back into this or just write equals naught here. Therefore we've got x plus 1 equals naught or x plus 2 equals naught or x plus 5 equals 0. Therefore, x equals minus 1, or x equals minus 2, or x equals minus 5. And there we've solved for x for this horrible cubic polynomial. Last example. It says, if a of x is equal to x to the 5 minus 2x cubed plus px minus 1, is divided by x minus 1. Then the remainder is minus a half and it says determine the value of p. So what are we saying? We are saying that x minus 1 normally when we divide something into a factor, like if we go back, remember I said to you that if this is a factor then x plus 1 equals naught when we divide into this. But this time when we're dividing into it we get out a remainder of minus a half. Therefore what we're saying is a of 1 is equal to negative a half. When we substitute x equals 1 into this, we get negative a half. That means we've got 1 to the 5 minus 2 times
times 1 cubed plus p times 1 minus 1 is equal to minus a half. So let's work this out. 1 to the 5 is just 1 minus 2 plus p minus 1. So the 1's cancel each other and we've got p minus 2 is equal to minus a half. Therefore p is going to be minus a half plus 2. So p is equal to 1 and a half. P is equal to one and a half. So there you go, grade 12. That's a whole couple of ways of using our factor theorem. You're going to need to be able to factorize like this if you want to be able to do differential calculus and be able to draw your cubic graphs. It's very, very important. The whole of differential calculus, which is a huge part of this maths curriculum, and your drawing of your cubic polynomials needs for you to be able to factorize. So please go practice, practice, practice. Have a lovely day.